Hi, I'm Dan, and I'd like to talk about the Legato and Portamento, Portamento settings in Harmer here. So first off, real quick, if you're not familiar with this um, section of the synth VST here, or soft synth, uh, there's these two knobs here, and, two, and, and you can select the pitch slide um, if you want it to be straight or curved and or um, if you want to change how the computer counts the pitch slide uh, between linear and logarithmic and trying to remember I'm pretty sure I remember that linear is the difference between um, values like 1 and 2 being the same as f 4 and 8 2 being 001, 8 being 004 and Let's see, right over here, yeah, logarithmic pitch slide curve, so. Um, I'm having some difficulty with my bar here. Let's see, where did I, there it is, yeah. So the, yeah, one and two, the same amount of increase on, on a linear scale, so. Um, same amount of increases. All right, yeah, was, so one to two, same, you know, it's just accounting four to five six to seven but the log logarithmic scale that's ratios so one and two two being double a one or four to eight eight being double of four so just to uh, explain how the computer's counting the pitch slide is that so that's what those two things are i'm not sure which is which um, it just says up in the window fixed variable so one's fixed one's variable but it doesn't say which one's which, so in anyway, so but the pitch slide, if it curves or if it's straight, it's pretty self explanatory and can be I can show that to you pretty easily. And uh pitch slide there is kinda quick. Uh so it's hard to show if it's quick. So you notice how it's just a straight pitch. Go to the curved. You see that it's curved, so it pitches differently. Um, next to it is the pitch range limit knob. However, this knob is only for the portamento. It won't work with the legato. Um, the legato has its own pitch range knob, which you can see is kind of grayed out. Now it's not. Now it is. So for some reason, the pitch range limit knobs have been... They, they put them apart. Don't know why, but they did. And so, um, if I go only a couple of half steps apart, it still slides. Or the slide is still connected to the previous note value. But if you go higher, um, the timing of that pitch range is too short to connect it to the old note value so you got to increase that uh, the pitch range so that it notes that are further apart still connect but it's still not not quite enough I believe it's around an octave is what the limit is let's see real quick So that's an octave. So it doesn't, it's not able to connect beyond an octave. So in that case, you just turn it all the way off. So anyway, so if you do want to use it, it has an octave range. And again, this knob is for the portamento. Excuse me. So you can adjust the pitch slide time to be quicker if you'd like. There is a positive or a right side and a left side. The manual says it's positive and negative. Um, if you look in the upper left hand corner, there's a um, measure unit of measurements um, in milliseconds on the left side and then regular numbers with a colon on the right side. Um, however, 
it it seems to the pitch slide time seems to be about the same uh with having the knob going either way and it doesn't seem to change any other parameters so i'm not i'm thinking it's just different measurement units of measurement <laughs> About the same amount of time either either side so anyway so that's that's that uh, little deal there and also there's a velocity setting here so if you want your soft notes to pitch differently than your loud notes you can select that and your loud ones will pitch quickly as you can see here it's you know hardly pitched at all or pitch slid at all you can increase the time and so so I hit the note hard it pitch slid pretty fast I'll hit a note softly even if it goes real low or there's a big difference between note values it's still I think the timing is still pretty much um, constant throughout note uh, different variable note changes so that's the velocity setting I know that's harder to hear, but it's a softer note to show you that it's sliding slower. So you can do that if you want, um, but you know, it's an option. I haven't found a way to invert that so that soft notes pitch fast and loud notes pitch slower or pitch slide slower. So I haven't found that. I don't know if there is one or not, but there might be. And so on to legato. Legato requires that two notes overlap at some point and then you'll get what is similar to what the portamento is doing except for you can't have gaps between notes like you can have in portamento and an action I'll, I think I mentioned that so you can play a note you can rest for a couple of beats or whatever and play another note and that pitch slides up to it on legato the pitch or the notes have to overlap some Let's increase that pitch slide time. But if you just play notes next to each other, it sounds normal. So it's not going to slur your notes together like Portamento will, or it would, but they have to overlap some. That's pretty much the only difference. And then the pitch range difference here. Let's see. I can show you the pitch range uh, limitation so it'll 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 pitch slide up to certain notes but that are but until they're certain they're beyond the value of your setting so you can see the first couple of notes that's sliding and then the notes that I um, wrote down that are further apart it's not able to slide a pitch slide if we increase that more we get more action and I move it all the way up and again I believe that is the one octave uh, range limit and again I don't know why the they put the knobs so far apart from each other when they put the you know selector um, buttons right next to each other so maybe because of the velocity or something I don't know but anyway so there's pretty much in a nutshell that's what your Logato and Portamento functions do and a little velocity option how you wanna and then here you how you wanna your pitch slide to be curved or straight and these two uh, fixed variable variable Portamento Legato time count isn't you know, very minimal of an effect. 
and remember and then this this knobs remember is going to be your overall um, pitch time between um, or amongst notes because some notes there's no there's no not always a gap between notes so and then and then the limit pitch range limit here that reduces or increases the the amount of pitch uh, between notes so thanks for your time please uh, like the video if you think it's useful uh, leave a comment if you'd like and um, I'm going to be making more of these just kind of dealing with specific things in this plugin and hopefully get to a point where I cover everything so uh, subscribe if you'd like to see those uh, thanks for your time